Hey guys, it's Kendra, welcome back to my channel. Today we went to Costco and I wanted to just share everything that I got with you. I realized I haven't done like grocery hauls in a long time. I used to do them every single month and I just forgot about them. So I'm gonna share everything that we got at Costco. We don't go to Costco like every single month. It's kind of, I would say every other month or so, we go to our grocery store Barron's uh, once a week and then we'll sprinkle in Costco to get snacks and just stock up on certain things that we need. I also wanna start doing more what I eat in a day videos, another type of video that I don't know why I've just kind of stopped doing them. So I would like to get back to doing those for you guys. So I would love if you'd let me know in the comments, like your favorite types of vlogs from me. If you just like normal vlogs, just you know, kind of with a little bit of everything, or if you want more specific ones like a grocery haul, or like a what I eat, what I eat in a day. So just let me know. So let's show you all this stuff. Okay, so first up, we got a ton of stuff for baking. We've been baking a lot more and this made a lot more sense financially to get a giant thing. So we got some organic brown sugar, also some of the organic cane sugar. We got a big old thing of rice. This is the organic brown short grain rice, so large. Okay, this is uh, one of our favorite types of sausage. It's the chicken and apple sausage. And we already have some in the fridge too. So that can go in the outside fridge. We got more of the ketchup right here. That comes in a two pack. Some milk for Owen. This is the A2 organic whole milk. Um, I try every now and then to go to Sprouts to get the raw milk, but it's usually out of stock, so it's kind of a pain, and it's twice the price. So I try to get it every now and then, but I it's just too much to get all the time. And then I love this mayo by Chosen Foods. It's the avocado mayo. I'll show you guys the ingredients. So it's made with avocado oil and then just everything else, but it's like a much, much better clean option for mayonnaise. My favorite peanut butter, organic creamy peanut butter. We use this for bars, for protein bites, for a lot of different things. And then I also get their almond butter. Their butters are a really good deal, especially for getting organic ones. So we have that, some blueberries and some raspberries. Raspberries go very quick here. I could eat like this whole thing in one sitting. Also some bananas. I like to get a big thing of bananas because once they start getting too ripe, I just put them in a freezer bag, put them in the freezer, and then we use them for smoothies. I put banana in pretty much every single smoothie that I make, whether that's like a fruit smoothie with uh, blueberries and bananas, or if it's more of a chocolatey peanut buttery smoothie with protein powder, I always have bananas. We have some ranch. We have a huge thing of these gluten-free sprouted rolled oats. This is new to Costco, I'm pretty sure. The brand is One Degree Organic Food. They were doing a sample of this, so, um, and it's glyphosate free. I'm pretty sure it's new to them, but it worked out perfectly because I was looking for, I, or we're out of oats. Okay, these I heard about from one of the moms in our co-op. They had these for their kids and Everybody wanted some. They're called crunchy rollers. So it's made with organic puffed brown rice. And they come, I think they're they're a two pack of them, but a really good thing to bring on the go. So hopefully that's a hit. These are one of my favorite gluten-free types of bars, the Bobo's Oat Bites. So this one has 12 apple pie ones and 12 strawberry. These are so good. I also really like the coconut ones, the lemon poppy seed ones. They have a chocolate chip kind, but I, these are probably my two favorite flavors. I'm guessing they're the most popular ones because usually Costco does the most popular flavors for like variety packs like that. Same thing for these, the perfect bars. I am obsessed with these. I could eat them, them every single day. They used to have these two flavors along with the almond one. And it's so funny because the kids don't like the almond one and it was definitely my least favorite, but they took it out recently. So I'm guessing most people felt that way. Now this is the 
the best combo for me. They're just so good. I love having like half of one for breakfast because they're really filling. Okay, love this butter. The Kirkland brand grass-fed butter. It's salted. I love, do you need to go outside? Got some of these, that's it, bars. Usually they come like double the size. These are the mini ones. So these are great to have in your diaper bag on the go. They're also nice because there's no sugar added and they're gluten-free. So I you take these, like if I'm running late or something and I need a little snack, I'll grab one of these. So it's really nice to have. There's strawberry, mango, and blueberry. And then they also have apple in them too. And then Z-Bars are another one of our favorites here. These ones are not gluten-free, but they do have, a, these are by Cliff Kid. They have the Cliff Kid ones that are the protein bars. They're a little thicker. Those ones are gluten-free, but these ones are not. We love this brand, Kinder's. I have their barbecue sauce, and then I just saw they have a teriyaki sauce, so I thought that'd be good to have for dinners, like something quick for a sauce. And then our favorite go-go squeezes. I like the organic ones. And then this is a nice variety pack here with all the different flavors. Some yogurt, Stonyfield is a really great brand. And these have, how many in here? 24, so this lasts us a decent amount of time. Not related to food or snacks, but I do want to share these because they are an organic tampon by Cora. I've never seen this brand. Let me know if any of you guys have before, but I thought it'd be, I figured I'd check them out. And I like that it's organically grown. So we have that. Love the um, guacamole little packs. These are great for myself, for the kids, just with some crackers. And the Kirkland brand actually had, was a dollar more, I believe, than this brand. So you get 16 of them. So this lasts us a while. We got some of these cuties. And they had a bunch of different types. I went with the organic cuties. Love having oranges and avocados. We did a big thing of pirate's booty always. And then I also got some organic almonds. I mentioned that it's hard to find organic almonds at Costco. These ones were not with all the nuts. So if you're at the front, like near the checkout where there's the pirate's booty and all those snacks and nuts, these ones are not there. The regular almonds are. This was next to the almond butter. Just FYI, if you guys are looking for um, organic almonds because I just have such a hard time finding finding them. I have a little bit left over. These ones I just got from Barron's, uh, but they, they're not organic. Another thing, we're still good on this, but we love getting the Kirkland chocolate chips for baking. We get so many in there. And then we also got one of the Milton's gluten-free crackers. These are so good. We have some more tuna. And then Andrew got some mouthwash. Put away the eggs. Here are the eggs that I like to get. Oop those and i also love their greek yogurt so it's organic greek yogurt plain i use this for myself with some blueberries a little like honey and granola we also use it we're almost out of this one but i use it for baking there's a gluten-free muffin well you don't have to do gluten-free but there's a muffin recipe using greek yogurt and it's so so good so we got that also some sour cream and i think that's it in the fridge right now and then last, we got a two pack of this turkey. Here's that. So yeah, that's everything that we got. So that is it for our grocery haul. If you guys have anything that your Costco carries consistently that you love, let me know in the comments so I can look out for it next time. Um, there's something I want to get next time is for, somebody told me they have frozen avocado at Costco. And I thought, what a cool thing to have on hand. You can add that to smoothies. And then I also, an account I follow on Instagram, she was saying she just gets frozen mango for her kids and then we'll put it in little cups and thaw it out in the fridge. And then we have, you have fresh mango and you don't have to worry about buying it ripe or whatnot, it won't go bad. So again, a great idea buying it frozen. Do any of you guys do that? I have never, actually I take it back. I have done that before, but usually it's when we have like no fruit at all or anything left and I'm like, trying to find something in the fridge for the kids and I find a bag of frozen fruit, I'm like, here we go. But little did I know that's something that people do all the time. So anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.